Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started with today's episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another episode here on the Appalachian Outlaws channel. But today we have the small block high output four wheel drive trucks from the East Coast Nationals in Fishersville, Virginia. Gonna be a great show. Here we go. And what a show we have here today, guys. This is the small block high output four wheel drive class. We have the top running trucks out of Pennsylvania and Virginia here today to compete. Gonna be a great show and we're kicking things off with the current points leader in the class and the 2022 points champion. This is Jason Garris. He drives a 1970 Chevy. Been pulling this truck in the small block class for over 15 years now, I would say. Tons of pulling experience. The chain is tight. Let's see if he's gonna keep the mark to beat here. Or turn it down and come back at the end. So I think during this run, he was planning on turning down that distance, but the sled operator saw something and he wanted to change things up a bit. So they are gonna reset the sled and get Jason off the track here to bring up our first official puller of the class. Good looking Chevy right there and he'll be back last. That's gonna bring up our next puller here, an outsider, Blake Smith, making his Appalachian Outlaws debut here in the small block HO class. A good looking late 90s Chevy there, closing up his door, gonna make sure the chain's tight. Let's see what he can do. He calls this truck Black Betty, making the first official pass of the evening in the small block class. And not a bad run for him there. We'll take a look at the replay, 287.02. Gonna set the mark the beat and the first official distance during the class is underway here. But man, it seems like that track has a lot of bite in it. Got in it hard, but still puttering out of power there at the end. So it's gonna be interesting to see what his competitors do as we get into the later portion of this class and they keep on building a road down through here. Is the track gonna get better? Are they gonna have to put all the power they got into it? Or is it gonna get a little bit worse here? Those are one of the things you have to pay attention to as a driver. But that's going to bring up Brett Kalanovich, a top running truck in the small block HO class representing Pennsylvania. Here he goes. And that's going to be good enough to take over the number one spot, 308.23. And as we just talked, it seemed like he got into it really hard, was turning a ton of RPM, which gave him a little bit more track speed than his competitor there. Ran a very similar line down the right portion of the track and spun out hard to take over the lead here. And next up's gonna be Jim Basinger, a good looking square body Chevy he calls High Noon. And this is a truck that has multiple wins on the Appalachian Outlaws pulling circuit so far, looking for his first 2023 victory. But if there's anybody that can do it here today, it's gonna be this guy. He has a ton of pulling experience. This is about his fourth year in the small block high output division. So here he is, he's gonna be pulling off the line. Let's see if he can beat the leading distance. And he puts it out there, let's get a distance on him. 
317.82. Going to be the mark to beat now and a good run for that high noon Chevy. You see he got a little bit squirrely towards the middle portion of the track there. It veered him towards the left side of the track and he just held that line and took it out there. Going to set the new mark to beat and that's going to be a tough one to get past for Jim Basinger, the high noon square body Chevy there where there's a predicament here in the class with the drivers. These small block trucks don't have as much horsepower as like the big block class would have per se. So they're watching this track and they're watching each truck go further and further. So they're debating on do I run a taller gear? Do I run a fast gear? Come off hard? Try to get the wheel speed and get down through there? Or do I play it a little bit conservative? Run a lower gear? Turn more RPM and hopefully spin out harder at the end? So a guy like Timmy Simmons here, he is a seasoned puller in the class. A top running small block truck. He calls it the heart attack. Lots of success on the Appalachian Outlaws circuit. And this is his first time with us here during 2023. So let's see if he can take over the lead. Timmy Simmons, the heart attack. And a good run there for him, 322.05. And you want to talk about RPMs. He was turning a ton of them down through there. Spinning out hard at the end and having a good run down through there. Just follow that road the rest of the trucks have been building so far tonight. Getting it up there at 322.05. So that's going to bring up another truck here out of Virginia. Dylan Wood already has a win on the Appalachian Outlaws pooling circuit just a year ago. A good looking truck. And this is one of these trucks that everybody's showing up here today to try to get in front of. But not going to come easy. Usually a top running truck in the class. So here he is. The light is green on the sled. Let's see what he can do here. And there he is. There's going to be your new leader. 324.36. Didn't have the takeoff I think he wanted to have in that truck. But man, the truck came to life. Ran a ton of RPMs and just went down the track so smooth. Just edging out the heart attack truck of Timmy Simmons. Going to be your new leader there. So that's going to bring up another Virginia truck. This is Ricky Thompson. He's made a great reputation for himself down in the Mountain Boys Puller Circuit, Dragon Motorsports as well, all the top running organizations in Virginia. First time hooking to the sled with the Appalachian Outlaws. Good looking square body Chevy. Let's see what he can do here. See if he can get it out past that 320 foot mark. Get in there with the top trucks. Here he goes. And a respectable run put down for him. Final distance going to be 285.47. Got Yogi Bear there in the passenger seat and they were just cruising down the track. But not quite enough to get up in there with the top trucks. Next up's going to bring out longtime puller and a current. Top five leader in the point standings, Jim Matthews with the Plum Crazy Truck. Now, the Matthews team's been battling a ton of issues with this truck so far for the 2023 season. Let's see if they have it figured out. Oops. 
And it seems like they're still battling some gremlins with that thing. 296.52 going to be the final distance for him. He got down there really good, even with the truck not running quite well. And I think that shows a little bit of promise that once they get the things figured out under the hood, this thing is going to run. 296.52. And next up is going to bring up the Coal Crusher, Josh Sarver. Another top running truck here in the small block high output division. He has a ton of new parts under the hood for 2023. He's been spending each pull trying to get it all figured out and get this combination working as efficiently as possible. So let's see if tonight's the night for him. See if he can get out there against the leader. Here he goes. And when you want to talk about giving it all she had, that's a perfect example of it. 313.87, going to get him out there, but not quite enough to creep into the top three right now. But a good run, he was turning a ton of RPM, and that truck sucked down hard and just kept on going at the end. A good run for the Coal Crusher. And next up is going to be Curtis Booth, another puller, making his Appalachian Outlaws pulling debut. Here he goes. Oh, and not what you want to see there. It looks like he went right off of the sled there, broke his hitch. Kill switch got pulled, and he's getting towed off the track. And that's going to bring up the first puller coming back last. This is Jason Garris. Let's see if he can win it all. Oh, man, and he took it out there. Not a puller in sight. 339.64 going to be the final distance for him. We'll take a look at your replay, but that's going to be good enough to get it done. The last puller taking the win. So that's going to do it here tonight at the East Coast Nationals for the small block high output four wheel drive trucks. A great showing for everyone here involved tonight. Jason Garris getting another win for the 2023 season record books. Dylan Wood in second place. Timmy Simmons rounding out the top three. And that's going to do it for tonight's show as well. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to tonight's episode of the Appalachian Outlaws pulling series. We're going to be back next week, Thursday night at 8 o'clock p.m. for the big block high output four-wheel drive trucks. This was a great showing for these trucks as well. Over 20 trucks in the class. You don't want to miss it. And that's going to be next week here on the Appalachian Outlaws YouTube channel.